Good morning everyone. So today we're going to do a tutorial question regarding related rates of change. Um, this is on your textbook question 19 and it's a good question because it's slightly different. It's not mass anymore. Now it's in liters. Yeah, you are like concentration 20% all these weird things which might be a bit confusing but that's why we're going through it. So question 19. Laboratory tank contains 100 liters of a 20% serum solution. You should always be drawing your diagram um, whenever you're doing these types of questions. So that's my beautiful tank there. Initial volume 100 liters. And you have 20% serum solution. So 20% of the contents is pure serum and 80% is distilled water. So 20% is pure serum. That's what we want, the pure serum. In this case, that pure serum here, if you read a little bit ahead, you'll know that it's in terms of X. So I'm just gonna say X right there is 20%, but 20% of 100 liters is 20 liters see it's not mass anymore unlike your salt where oh it's just 20 grams or 20 kilograms something like that this is in terms of liters which works as well okay and a 10 percent serum solution is then pumped in at a rate of two liters per minute so two liters per minute you can let that be your dv dt which in this case is just two and of course you need your concentration as well dx dv which in this case is 10 percent so you're going to say 0.1 or 1 on 10. Okay, then let's look at the outflow. An amount of the solution currently in the tank is drawn off at the same rate. By same rate, that means the volume. They're not talking about the concentration, so the concentration is not 0 0.1, don't get that wrong, uh, confused. It's just the same rate, which is your volume. So it's out, uh, going out at 2 liters per minute as well. The concentration, on the other hand, you should always follow the uh, formula where it's um, your mass or your liters then divided by your initial volume which in this case is 100 plus your inflow 2 minus your outflow which is also 2 here times by t which yes in this case you should get x over 100 once you got your diagram and then you can easily do part a which is set up your differential equation right here so they just want you to know uh, they want you to find out what the x dt is the rate of flow of the serum, the pure serum into the tank. So the XDT volume times concentration minus volume outflow times concentration outflow. Right, and you should get 2 over 10 minus 2x over 100. So if you make them have the same common denominator, this times 10, uh, times 10, 20 subtract 2x and you should end up with 10 minus x divided by 50 if you simplify so that's dx dt which isn't too bad so that solves part a tick let's solve part b what does part b say how long will it take for there to be an 18 percent solution in the tank assuming that all contents at uh, all times the content of the tank is form a uniform solution so how long will it take? We're solving for t. So what would t be when x equals 2? So it says 18% of the solution, right? In your tank, there's always 100 liters, no matter when what the time is. Because 2 is coming in, 2 is going out. So there's no addition or subtraction of volume. It's always 100. So in this case, x would be 18% of 100. So that means 18 liters in your, your tank. So how would you do this? Um, there's a long way and a short way. The long way is you integrate this and then you solve for plus c and all of that, which takes a bit of time, but it does work. And I'll just show you the short way, which uh, you can just put inside your cancel. Or you can even do it by hand, but this is a tech active question, so just use your calculator. So the short way, guys, is your definite integral, which um, if you don't know, I'll leave a link below. I've done the um, video for that too, so you can check that out. So if you want to solve for this, we know dx dt, first of all, actually, before we go into t, um, let's solve for dx, uh, flip this first, so dt dx, because it's not in terms of t, it's in terms of x, equals 50 over 10 minus x, and then you can use a definite integral. So t equals 2, you integrate 50, minus, uh, 50 over 10 minus x in terms of x, and here's the clever bit, you want 18 liters, right? So you put 18 up top right there, and then... What you can do here, guys, is that initially, so at t equals 0, so t equals 0, remember, definite integral, just check back that video, you'll see it. 
is equal to zero, there is 20% serum solution, meaning 20% of 100, which in this case would be 20 liters. So you can put 18, which is what we want, and 20 when the time is zero. If you use this, guys, chuck inside your calculator, you should end up with 11 points. Let me just do it on my calculator quickly. Yep, 11.16 minutes, because it's in terms of minutes. And that's your answer, guys for part B. So at 11.16 minutes, there will be 18% or 18 liters of pure serum in your tank. And that's it. So hope you found, um, hope this solves your queries. And if you liked it, just leave a like and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching guys.